Hi everyone. In this video, we will cover how you can plan your three-day trip to Singapore. There are so many things to see and do in the city, so we recommend this three-day Singapore itinerary to get the most out of your trip. Despite its size, Singapore is populated with many high-end shops, sky-high structures, and beautiful gardens. It is a perfect combination of a bustling city and a tropical island. Your first day in Singapore is all about hitting the main attractions, from the amazing views of the city at Marina Bay Sands to one of the most amazing gardens in the world, Gardens by the Bay, and a cloud forest. The famous Gardens by the Bay is located in the heart of the city. The garden has the largest glass greenhouse in the world. There's a connecting overhead bridge between Gardens by the Bay and Marina Bay Sands. Every night between 7.45 and 8.45, there is a beautiful light and music show at the Super Tree Groove. Don't miss this free light and music show when you are at the Gardens by the Bay. Marina Bay Sands is one of the most renowned hotels in the world. It has a beautiful infinity pool on the 57th floor. There is no better way to take in the beauty of Singapore and its glittering city skyline than being here. In the evening, head to Clark Key which is the bustling nightlife hub of Singapore. It is located just across from Fort Canning Park. You'll find excellent restaurants with a mix of Asian and European cuisine. If it is your furry first time in Singapore, I recommend you take the cruise along the Singapore River. This boat ride takes about 40 minutes round trip. Take the boat ride at 8.30 pm and you will be able to catch the water and light show at the Marina Bay area. Queue at least 15 minutes before as it gets really crowded at this time. The cost of the river cruise starts at $18 for adults. On the second day in Singapore, head to Sentosa Island where you will be able to do a lot of fun things and see a lot of nice sights. If you are up for an adventure, you can spend the entire day in Universal Studios. You can also visit the Sea Aquarium over here. No trip to Singapore would be complete without some shopping. This is the perfect way to wind down your three days in Singapore. Eat, shop and have fun in Chinatown. You'll find streets lined up with antique shop houses, souvenir shops, indie boutiques and amazing restaurants to try out the local food. You can also visit Little India if you are craving for some Indian food. This neighborhood also has several souvenir shops to take back gifts for your friends and family. However, it is ideal to avoid Little India over the weekends because it gets really crowded. Let us know in the comments if you need more information and tips on how to plan your Singapore trip. A detailed video on flight tickets, visa requirements, cost of travel and how to travel on a budget will be uploaded soon. Until then, don't forget to subscribe, share and like.